how's it going? My name is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I finally have another weekly grocery haul for you guys. I typically do them every Tuesday on my channel but I haven't done them the last two weeks just because the holiday season you know with Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and the kids being out of school and my husband took off work for two weeks so it's been a lot. Um, I haven't really had like weekly planned food and I actually don't have a meal plan again this week because this is a big transition week for us. The kids don't go back to school until Thursday but they are going back to school this week. My husband started work back this week so we're kind of transitioning back into our normal routine. So as you'll see in a minute, I got some quick and easy foods just to help me keep my sanity a little bit or at least what's left of it. Um, yesterday was Monday and I ended up making like breakfast burritos for dinner. It was quick and easy and everyone liked it. I think tonight I'm probably just gonna throw some chicken in the crock pot and season it up and then like shred it and I don't know use it for salads, quesadillas or something. I still haven't made the venison roast that I wanted to make so now that I actually have some bacon grease saved up from what I made last night um, since you have to have like fat for venison meat because it's so lean. I think I might try to do that this week. But other than those few little ideas, I'm mostly just winging it for this week. I apologize if my voice is very annoying. I was hoping that with school being out that we'd be able to avoid the non-stop illness that we've been getting, um, which we managed actually, or for most of the time that they've been out, we've been pretty good, but now they're about to go back and I'm coming down with a cold again. So that's fun. So I apologize for my nasally voice. Um, I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas or whatever it is that you celebrate and that you had a pleasant time ringing in the new year. Happy New Year. Uh, I'm going to quit rambling and flip you around and show you everything that I picked up for the week. Okay, so this is round two of me trying to record this. I just went through this whole entire grocery haul and then realized at the end that I never turned my microphone on. So here we go again, take two. Here's an overview of everything that we got. And as usual, I'm gonna get started back here in this corner that has like all of our snacks. So since the kids are going back to school this week, I grabbed some boxes of chips to throw in their lunch boxes. I haven't gotten that one before, the Frito-Lay 28 count, but Ava really likes that smart food cheddar popcorn and Raymond likes pretzels. And then they're pretty okay with all of the chips in there. So. We're gonna give that a try. And then I just got this 10 count of Funyuns for me and Ava because we are the only ones that like those and that sounded good to me. I got them this 12 count value pack of Fruit by the Foot for a sweet treat in their lunch boxes. I also got Raymond some Juicy Juice Fruit Punch. That is his favorite um, juice to have in his lunchbox. And then here I ordered the big value pack of Mild Slim Jims, but this was the substitution because I guess they were out. They just gave me three 14 packs, which is fine. For breads, I got these sweet Hawaiian hamburger buns just in case we want to do hamburgers one night. And then I got these great value garlic bread sticks to keep on hand because we really like those. I'm pretty sure I used to get the Texas toast bread sticks um, or some kind of some kind of garlic bread type thing um, that was not great value, but then my sister had me get these one time and we actually like them way better. So now we always get the great value garlic breadsticks. They're really good. And then here with all this cheese that we got, I got a eight ounce block of the Cracker Barrel sharp yellow cheddar cheese. I got this Borzen garlic and fine herbs cheese. I'm gonna make a potato soup this week and that is what this is for. I got the Sargento sharp cheddar cheese sticks for Ava's lunchbox and then we just needed some more shredded cheese for like salads and you know, whatever various things, quesadillas and all of that good stuff. Back here for some like condiments, we needed some more barbecue sauce and this is our favorite, the Sunny's Sweet Barbecue Sauce. And then I needed some more ketchup and I got some chicken stock that is also for the potato soup. We needed some more sour cream and I got these two little single packs of Kender's seasoning. Um, they're both Mexican seasoning. This one's the carne asada and this one is the taco blend. We've had them both and really like them. And then I got this Kinder's seasoning, the golden roasted chicken. I've never tried it before, um, but I haven't had a Kinder's seasoning that I don't like yet. So I just thought that this would be nice, something different to try. 
for produce, we got a container of the spring mix salad mix. Um, I got some strawberries, but I'm going to have to request a refund on these because they're nasty. Um, so not going to be eating that. Um, I did get this three pound bag of golden potatoes for that potato soup. I also got two big white onions and then I got a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper. We always have these on hand for salads and other various things. And I was saying the last time that I tried to record this, how funny it is to me that we got this big giant green bell pepper with this teeny tiny red bell pepper. And the really funny thing about it is that the green bell peppers at my Walmart are priced by weight. Um, so this big one obviously was gonna be more expensive than others, but the red bell peppers are all a flat price, no matter the size. So I had to pay $1.50 for this teeny, teeny, tiny red bell pepper, um, but that's fine. They'll get eaten. I just thought that that was kind of funny. I did get some green onions to go in that potato soup. And then I got some shallots because I thought that I got avocados for avocado toast and I like to put shallots on that, um, but I guess I forgot to add them to my order. So whenever I go to replace these strawberries, I'll pick up some avocados as well. And then I just got a crown of broccoli here. I don't really have anything planned for it, but I'm sure it'll end up getting roasted as a side um, for some meal this week. Now back here for some breakfasty stuff, the kids asked for waffles for their quick on the go breakfast this week. So I grabbed a big box of those. And then I finally have my Southern butter pecan creamer again. I think what I've realized is that this is a flavor they do have it year round, but they take it away for the holiday season to make room for all of their seasonal creamer flavors. Um, so now I know this year around probably end of October, beginning of November, to stock up on that because it's not fun to go a few months without my favorite creamer. And then back here, I just got a gallon of organic whole milk. I did grab some bacon. This is the Black Label Thick Cut Bacon. We typically get the right brand because in my opinion, it really is the best bacon. Um, however, this one is still pretty good and it's like half the price of the right bacon. So I opted for this one to save some money. And this is also gonna go in that potato soup. And then with whatever's left, we'll probably just make like BLTs or something. And then all this stuff, I don't think I've ever bought this many like frozen meal items before. Um, I'm not typically a big fan of frozen meal items. They're just, they just don't taste that great to me. Um, however, we do always get the Red Baron Classic Crust pepperoni pizzas. Um, I just went ahead and got two this time to make my life a little bit easier as we try to get back into a routine with the kids going back to school this week. Um, plus they're only $5 a piece. So I got two of those, but these things I do not typically get. Well, this one, it's seasonal, but it is the Tyson Nuggets of Love where it's just heart-shaped chicken nuggets. And I just thought that that was cute. So I wanted to give those a try for the kids. I hope that they like them. And then down here, I got two packs of frozen burritos. This is the bean and cheese burritos. And then this is the beef and bean. My kids have never had these before. Raymond really likes burritos. So that's kind of why we wanted to get them and give them a shot. And I know that me and Rob before we had kids, we really loved these frozen burritos. We really liked these with just some sour cream and cheese and they were really good. So hopefully we still think they're good 10 years later. We're gonna give them a try. So we got both packs of those and then the last things that I got were just some menthol cough drops. I got three little packs because as you can tell by my voice, uh, we can never have too many cough drops around here. All right, so that is it. That is everything that I grabbed for us for the week and I'll leave the total across the screen right here. All right, you guys, that is gonna do it for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, I hope you decide to stick around and do so and to see you in my next one. Bye.